Pat Pole. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello. Silverfish, congrats on the first. How are you doing? Oh my goodness, a tadpole raid. Ginger, hello. Who wants crime? I do. Fish, tasty. Hey now, Mike. Sally, hello. Welcome in. Tad himself, Aldi. How is everybody doing? Hi, 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 hi. Sally! Oh my goodness! It is a moment of scrum! I scrum! Scrum, scrum, scrum. Thank you so much for the eight month resub! Wait, I no, I definitely don't have those. Ginger, what sort of typo was this? All the crimes. Hi, rubber ducky knight. Welcome in. Cup kitties, cup kitties, cup kitties, cup kitties, cup kitties, cup kitties, cup kitties. Hello, how's everyone doing today? Oh, I'm on the roof. I'm gonna try to not fall off the roof. It's gonna be a problem. I hope everyone's doing amazing. Tad, how's the rest of your stream? I kind of disappeared because my partner and I ordered Thai food and then the Thai food showed up and then we ate the Thai food and now we're here. <laughs> you meant to say live and did lice instead. I can confirm I do not have lice. So, I but I am live. <laughs> close though, Ginger, very close. Stream was good, nice cozy stream. You'll love to see it, you'll love to see it. Well, thank you so much for bringing the community over here. I really, really appreciate it. Do I have rice? I'm sure we have rice downstairs, but I don't think I have any rices, which is different. Mices? That sounds fun. Daryl, hello, welcome in. Who wants crimes? I want crimes. We love crime. Wait, who came up with that raid message? <laughs> I love it, I love it. I want that raid message, that's great. Who wants crimes? <laughs> I do. I love it. <laughs> rices. Thank you for the rices, Ginger. Who else? Tad. Or Sally, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? But everyone, I'm so excited to see you. For those of you coming with that Tadpole raid who don't know me, my name is Small Cats. I play Minecraft with Tadpole Milk here on the Friends of Nonsense SMP, which is where I am right now. And uh, we have a viewer redeem to work on, actually. Uh, the wonderful one, the only, the Daddy Bones MC redeemed a custom biome redeem a few weeks ago. Maybe you should have stuck around. Wow, Tad, wow. Ouch, ouch, my bones. Tadpole, would you have wanted me to not eat my Thai food? Because I wanted to eat my Thai food. Thank you very much, Sassy. Man, you want a custom dessert biome? That sounds very fun, Ginger, but unfortunately it's a desert biome, not a dessert biome. Wow, yeah, wow! Wow, I'm gonna try not to fall and die. Um, so here's what we're gonna do today, guys. We need to find a place to put Daddy Bones' biome um, that is going to look nice and hopefully not require, oh my gosh, we're very high up in the air. And hopefully not require like too much effort on my part just because i'm lazy um but you know like we want to hopefully not have to do too much terraforming in order to then do the terraforming so we're gonna fly around and scout out a place uh if it's already a desert biome that's very helpful but if not then we'll be fine so yeah let's go bacon biome yum 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 <laughs> that sounds delicious a dessert biome? A desert biome. Did I spell dessert in my title? Does it say dessert? Is that why you guys are making fun of me? I thought I wrote desert. Am I an idiot? Like, am I an idiot? Maple bacon dessert biome sounds awesome. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, did I spell it wrong? Because if I did, that's really funny. You spelled it right? Hi, Casey. I'm glad I spelled it right. I mean, I can't spell, so read that. How yeah, I mean, that's va very valid. I also cannot spell. So, no, you didn't. You were joking. Okay, I was really concerned that I wrote dessert biome. And I was like, man, how did I mess this up? <laughs> hmm. We're looking for a dryish biome. The Grey Knight is here. Hello, hello. Hi, Black Lad. At least we didn't focus on the name Oasis. That biome would sound terrible. No. 
It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Is it Oasis or Oasis? Help. Like, yes. <laughs> Dang it. Countess of Countex of Chaos Duronic. They rule over the county with their 156% chaotic energy. Very nice. That is a lot of chaos, actually. Very well done. I'm loving this song, by the way. This is my liked playlist. Are we loading new chunks right now? I bet we are. Being a, being a bad, bad noodle. You love me chaotically. You're not allowed to chaos? Yeah, it doesn't look like it, Sally. I wonder why. Sally, what did you do? Oh, what if we converted this island for Daddy Bones as a desert oasis? The only problem is that, like, if it's a desert oasis, like, it needs to be, like, standalone, I would say, from other things, or it wouldn't really make sense, I guess. Then it's more of a tropical island. Yeah, no. If I had the points, I would order Chaos Bacon Biome. I don't even know how I would make you that. Either. Oh, this is an ice biome? That's not helpful. An ice biome is, like, really not what we want. We want a dry biome. Yeah, I don't know. How would I even make a bacon biome? Lots of pigs. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how else you'd do it. Okay, this biome is too cold. Oh, but there's a lovely mountain here. Ooh. Look at this mountain. That's this that's a nice mountain right there. Lovely. Ooh. I think I've seen this mountain before. This is a this is a good mountain. That was a short encounter. Yeah, it was. What was the first time I seduced a target tummy? Ah, it didn't work. They don't make mountains like that anymore. No, not anymore. I think I'm heading... Yeah, I know where I am. Okay. I want to go following the path to find the desert, I think. I looped around so far that I looped back on myself. Yeah, you don't get high-quality mountains like that anymore. But yeah, we're looking for something relatively flat that we can then mark out with our orange wool for Daddy Bones. Where's the PNG? It's there. It's on the right side, Sally. Oh, over there. Yeah, it's on the other side. Do -do -do. Ooh, we could turn... Can we turn some of this into a desert? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think I like it. Hmm. I have to think about it. We need a lot of space. It's a 15 by 15 chunk area, which is like pretty big. And ideally, we want it to be relatively landlocked. I don't want there to be a bunch of water. Which is currently my problem, is there's too much water. Where are my wings? Meh. They've been better. Desert. Maybe we need a dessert biome after all. It's fine. 
It is fine. It's very hard to do this. This is a lot of space. You any calcite? Cheesecake biome? Nothing is ever really fine. That's true, Wolven. How you doing, Wolven? <coughs> oh my god. Thank you for the zombie piglin. I don't know why that scared me. I'm literally in the air. It shouldn't have. Okay, you need to lurk for a bit. All right, Tad, enjoy your lurk. Thank you again for the raid. You're wonderful. If this wasn't so tall, that's about how your stomach feels. Oh no, I'm sorry. That sucks. This is a flower forest, which I don't think I want to destroy a flower forest. One sec. Uh, you know what? I think this is a good spot. It's not too, like, weirdly shaped. We'll get rid of the village. No. We'll deal with them. Uh, timing, woven timing, all about timing, yeah. Oh, I don't have a bed. Good thing we're in a village. Hello, villagers! I'm here to burn down your houses and steal your loots and boots. Hello! Knock, knock! Fun Bucket, hello, welcome in, how are you doing? Thank you for the follow. Villagers, get out! Boop. Loots and boots. <laughs> we love a loots and a boots. Just a little bit. <laughs> Your timing was off, that's okay. So, if we use this, I think we can get rid of that river and lurk. All right, Silverfish, enjoy your lurk. And get rid of some of this river, and that should be just about enough space. Because if this is a chunk, because it is. Boop. Hello there. Hello there. Thank you for the hello there. So that's a chunk, right? And we want it to be 15 by 15 wide. Listen, zombie. I'm busy. Oh, you know what? I have like a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Sutton! Hello, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're great. Bacon flavored water? Yum. Thank you for Warden Ah, uh, up, kitty? All right. Okay. All right, so like, assuming this is the corner of our first chunk. We need to go 15 over. Cats, doing good, hope you too. I'm doing great. Okay, so one, marking it out, two, counting, counting with small cats. What could go wrong? Five, six, Sauce Twitter earlier today, I hope all okay at work. <sighs> work is really kind of shitty right now, to be honest, um, but they could be worse. BCG, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? Guys, I lost count. Shit. Uh, work could be better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, work could be better. So like, it's just a really weird situation where my boss got a promotion, and because of the like way his promotion's working out, I have to move departments because I can't like directly report to him anymore. Which means I have to basically get a new position, and I'm unhappy about it. It sucks, but it's fine. 
I'll live. Six. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. I lost count again, though. I'm a disaster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Counting is hard. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Why do bosses get promotions? They don't do anything. Uh, my boss is actually pretty cool. We already knew that small, it's okay. I am a mess. Thanks for hot mess. Wait, what was this one? Wait, chat. Which, what, what number pillar did I say this was? Thirteen, thank you. Fourteen. Fifteen. Ugh. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. But yeah, so it's just like a really weird situation. Um, and there's really nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. But I'll I'll be fine. Um, I just have to decide what I want to do because I I have like my boss basically gave me like three options of departments I could go into. The problem being that like two of them I don't like the managers and I don't want to work with for them. Like, I mean like in terms of like the fact that they're competent at their jobs they are, but I don't like them personally. Sus, this situation. Very sus, Black Lad. How you doing? Guys, I lost count again. I lost count again. Shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So small, my favorite is Cat, PNG Tuber, who with a single fang. What has you been up to? Um, a lot of work in generalized nonsense. Um, playing on vaulters. Um, not getting anything done in real life. Uh, stressing about my job. Other than that, I'm fine. How have you been, BCG? You have- I have not seen you in a bit. Doing good. Made it to daybreak in zombie DD. Good job. What is zombie D&D? Squishes black clad with lots of cheesy love. I love it. Yo, same about the IRL stuff. Right, black clad? Or not black clad. I, read, I said, I'm thinking black clad because I'm looking at black clad, but right, BCG? Right? It's just been long. Are we allowed to mention the single thing? Hey, leave my twofer out of this. Leave my twofer alone. Okay, so. That's 10. 11. 12. Ah. 13. Nope, that's wrong. You don't think so? No. Leave my two for alone. It's innocent. Why is it that this trunk has to end in a hole? Ugh. I'm allowed to mention it because I have the other fang relic in my sword collection. Well, D and D, but we are set ourselves as characters in the midst of a zombie apocalypse as it happens. Oh, okay, interesting. I have never heard of that, but that sounds fun. So, on um, this should end up making a square. Theoretically. 
do. Counting on strength. Counting on strength. Three. It's always a mistake. Counting on stream. You should never count where your chat can hear you, because they'll always point out your mistakes. Because it's really, really hard to count on stream. You always lose your place reading the chat. They do the channel points that make you scream, and you lose your place counting the chat. So you should never count on stream. I lost my place. Ah! <laughs> oh, I definitely lost my place. Those pumpkins look like gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Marcus, hello, how are you? Anyone clip that? <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. I'm not doing that because it's really deep. Twelve. Chicken. Thirteen. 14. 15! Marcus, how are you doing? Personally, I love post-apocalypse campaigns because I can say, I want to rip this thing to pieces and make a weapon, and the DM either says yes or is booed away from the table. That sounds about right. Everyone in a post-apocalyptic game is an art ar artifice? Ar artifice? Ar ar whatever that... A seal. Everyone is a seal. No, whatever that D&D uh, &D thing is where you make, you're basically MacGyver. But when I count while I am on voice chat or stuff, I need to count in my native language or I derp too. <laughs> fair, says fair. I can't count in my own native language. Is this just playing the same like four songs on repeat? It really feels like it is. Ugh. <sighs> What is this track? Okay, I have to change this because I actually think it's just playing the same like songs on repeat. I'm assuming this is stream safe, whatever this is. <sighs> what? Guys, we're... How about Ska? Do you want to listen to Ska? Art, 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 art. Yes. I'm a mess right now. Leave me be. Doing my best. Yes, Ska. This is, says it's Ska. Two. Three. Four. Hardline base, that's what I was tr trying to think of three weeks ago. Thanks for reminding me, Small. Here for you, BCG. Good, thanks, just tired. But just woke up for some reason, hope you're well. I'm doing great. Thanks, Marcus. I'm sorry you're tired, but hopefully you uh there soon. Good times with Ska. Ginger. Why you do this? Guys, I also lost count again. I posted an amazing Ska album on Bruno's Discord. Four. That's awesome. Well, this is apparently Ska. Five. Six. Outtown Ska. Oh my god. What does that mean, Sally? Seven. Eight. Nine. This was nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15! Let's go! Okay, I'm calm now. Okay, so the hardest part is complete, which was counting. Um, So this is generally the big box that we're gonna... Stop, piece of gem doing my best. This is the big box that Daddy Bones' biome is gonna go in. Now let's... Uh, say hi to that golem. Hello. And then what are the cords? 
negative 4259 9767. Okay. I'm dancing. I like this song. You have to go. Oh shit! Oopsie box. 20 diamonds to rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so funny. Don't clip it. No. Leave me alone. Was it an it? I, I, I'm an innocent kitty. Don't clip it. You missed it, Sally. I did a derp. I did a derp. I went to kill a golem. And instead I did a crime. At least my stuff's not loaded. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna be smart. Four chests for a diamond. Gee, yeah, there was a crime. What is this? Oh, uh, doesn't have silk touch on it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I did the derp. I did the derp. How are you doing, Kowalchi? That's funny, Sally. He's like, no, I'm just gonna do it this way. I need a uh, flint and steel. Before I can go get my stuff. I'm like, scrab, I'm not playing right now. Sally, why aren't you doing a Minecraft right now? I'm alright, tired. How's it going over here? Well, I just died uh, to an iron golem, like a couple thousand blocks away from home, but thankfully I took the cords. So now I gotta go get my stuff, but I'm gonna be smart and do this on the nether roof. That way it's faster. But um, it was very dumb of me. Uh, was not high on my list of uh, accomplishments just now. Oh goodness. Yeah, there's a clip. Here, I'll pin this message. Pin the message <laughs> until I unpin it. <laughs> there you go, you can see my idiocy. It was quite funny to be fair. In the message on the donkey. Yeah. I I messed up. That's why I'm glad I'm not in hardcore. If we were in hardcore, this would have been a problem. Okay. One sec. Let's do percent. App data. Percent. Uh, dot Minecraft. Screenshots. Negative 4259767, roughly. It's okay, Small's a great streamer. I'm a great streamer, I'm a bad golemer. To be fair, I did start it, and the golem finished it. It's really kind of annoying to build with him because he tells me what he wants, but then everything I do is wrong. I would have rather just built it myself, which I did, but he doesn't like my location. Oh, I'm sorry, Sally. Unfortunately, you just can't please some people. I would just keep doing what you want to do. Very entertaining. I'm glad, Ginger. I'm glad I'm entertaining you with my failure. 
endless hello welcome in miss k it's the raid that never ends stardust hello hello sea turtle welcome in endless themselves hello hello endless how was your stream what did you get up to <laughs> ginger sees endless and immediately wiggles her butt i love it i love it uh negative 42 59 767 guys we gotta do math we're doing we've done like six stream crimes today uh generalized crime uh counting dying and now math 42 59 divided by 8 is 532 532 math hides i agree 767 divided by 8 is roughly 96. Math hides. Endless, how was your stream? What did you get up to? If you do have to raid and run, I totally understand. But I would love to hear what you were doing today. Sea turtle, why are you hiding? Hey, small stream is great. Chilling and building day 1400-ish on the hardcore world. Very nice, very nice. Hardcore world numbers keep going up. Okay, so that's higher in the negatives. And then... Wait, I just sent a message of like what... Did I not hit enter? Oh, I'm an idiot. I literally was typing the chords and realized I don't need to tell you because you have a calculator. I do. It's a, it's a magic. Did I, like, not type this? Negative 532, 96. And then... Nope. Yes. Oh, too far. Looking for 96, roughly? Wait, how did I screw this up so bad? Ugh. You typed it and didn't send. Ugh. Yeah, negative 532.96. We are going to find our stuff. Um, I do need some food, though, and you have my full confidence. <laughs> we love coming here. Have fun. I'll be back once I eat. All right, and let's enjoy your food. Hope to see you in a bit. Thank you so much for the raid. Kega Synap! Hello, welcome in! 12 month resub, a whole year of scremin! Guys, can we get some screms in the chat? We gotta, we gotta screm for that. That's a heckin' big screm right there. I hope you are doing amazing. Cat jam, cat, cat cup, cat cup. <laughs> That's not how you spell confidence. I was just gonna let it go. Fine. I'm just gonna let that go. Scram, scram, scrams. I'm unsubbed, but have some pizza. Always acceptable. Pizza is good. Scram, scram, scram. Angus and up. I hope you're doing amazing. It's so nice to see you as always. Wait, what was it? Negative 532? Negative 532, 96. All right, if this doesn't bring us out basically to where we need to go, then, um, oh well. Guys, I'm making a cursed portal. Forgive me for I has done a cat crime. Not only is it no quarters, <laughs> it's polished diorite corners. <laughs> Marcus is like, small, how could she do this? <laughs> It's so bad! Okay, I'm gonna put this in my offhand in case that golem still wants to eat my skull for breakfast. Um, what could go wrong? Nope. Knock myself out. Yep, seems about right for today. It do, it do. Yes! My stuff! <laughs> Guys, uh, I wanna regularly uh, see things and pick them up while, while going... <laughs> No! Golem, help me! Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. That was, that was pathetic. Thanks, Golem. It's karma for trying to kill him. It's something. I don't know. 
Is it karma or... Uh, what was in there? And um, that was in there. That was in there. And like maybe more fireworks? Uh, here's some ender chest. I'll return that later. You know what? Actually, I want that ender chest. One of those is my ender chest. Uh, it's fine! Casey shouts Sally as they jump at Marauder. Completely devour the poor foe. Did you eat the foe? Sally? Did you eat a person? Sally? What have you done? Explain. Explain. See, I'm perfectly competent when I don't try to kill iron golems. <laughs> Pug is feeling 79% chaos. Lovely. Stardust is feeling 82% chaotic. Wonderful. That's a lot of that's a lot of chaos. I love to see it. You'll love to see it. This song is weird. It's supposed to not have in it's supposed to be instrumental. I don't like that one. Let's try something else. Exterminate. Yes. Alright, so now that we have like the general idea of where we're gonna be putting this. Uh, I think we want to basically like pick a corner, any corner, and start chopping trees, because all those gotta go. Does this have silk touch? Yeah, it does. But we're gonna get lots of a cha 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 wood. So that's great. Hug hugs for small. Thank you, Pug. How are you doing? While she is feeling 57% chaos, that's a lot as well. Guys, you know how much sand we're gonna need for this project? Like, at least a bazillion. Like, at least a bazillion sand. I hope Daddy Bones is around. I didn't tell Daddy Bones, by the way, that I was gonna start on this today. Uh, I just decided that's what I was going to do. Uh, so, bad noodle um, on me. But, we are working on it. Progress. And what was the issues with this clip is something that Pug needs to check. Pug, I tried to become friends with an iron golem, and he took it the wrong way, and it resulted in my untimely getting bonked in the face. But it's fine, we got our stuff back, that's all that matters. Stardust has only gone and found some gold-tinged poop whilst exploring some guano. That sort of checks out. Yeah, what a what a find. Lucky you, Stardust. Lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, just casually. Just very casually. You know, as one does. Eh. Cal, you're in my way. Yeah, you. Her lack of communication resulted in a broken hearted golem, yeah. I'm not good at relationships. Golem and I, we just had a really big- we had like one of those dramatic like rom-com misunderstandings where both people like refuse to just explain what's going on and instead they just like dramatically shout like around the problem and then like don't talk to each other for three weeks but then like something else dramatic happens and like they just magically figure it out that both of them were like not communicating well the whole time and they should have been adults and just figured it out sooner you know like one of those. You know what I mean? You know, just one of those things. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, gotta love those, right? Yeah, those. Those things that all adults definitely totally do and instead of just talking about what's going on. It resulted in the untimely getting bonked in the face. Ah yes, another normal day was small. Yeah! 
I mean, that's pretty much exactly what happened. It was an untimely bonking. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to just like shell out the cash for like the premium subscription on Pretzel Rocks because not being able to decide what I wanna listen to every time I stream and having it be like a different selection of obscure music stations is really not vibing with me. I think I'm just gonna have to buy it. I don't want to, but I think I have to. <clears throat> it's like actually bothering me that it's like random every time because then like I have to sit here before stream and like listen to some music and be like, is this the vibe? Is this not the vibe? And then like, I'm not used to any of the channels. So like a lot of it is not the vibe. It's very frustrating. It's definitely like a kind of minor complaint in the general grand scheme of like life and stuff, but it is bothering me. One of the rom-coms where they fight to the death. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sally is ready to go on another expedition. Whatever that means. Obviously the smarter solution. Yeah, exactly. I think it makes total sense. Stardust has only gone and found a type 56D needler whilst exploring the void. Okay. Sally is an exhibitionist. Sally, what are you doing? Sally, explain. Sir? Wait, I have a genius idea. Kabalchi, I'm scared. I found your bow small? No, my bow's right here. Cat boys. Kabulchi picks up a pick GK weapon rom com problems. <laughs> perfect, perfect. What did I exhibit? I don't know. Ginger just said you were. Like creeper? Why are you looking creepers? Nothing can defeat you now, ex except for proper communication between adults, but yeah. Other than that. Yeah, but like other than that. Sure, Ginger, sure. Are you sure that's what you meant? Shh. Small but It does exist. It does. I swear. I've seen it. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Cat claw. Grim, that was very sharp. Your claws are so sharp, my little boy. Grim. Grim. If he's in a rom-com, though, then there's no such thing as proper communication. That's true. That's true. Who is showing off everything? A Sally, apparently. But I don't know what it's about. Grim, your claws are very pointy, my dude. Spike. <laughs> Ginger has only gone and found a forlorn, ignored, black clad whilst exploring Curse Tuesday. Oh my goodness, it is Curse Tuesday. Black clad, are you feeling forlorn and ignored? Are you okay? Grim, are you Grim? Are you feeling forlorn and ignored? Is that why you clawed me? Because it was very painful, my dude. It was very painful. Lol. <laughs> All right, Grim. You have to. If you're gonna hang out, you have to actually sit down and snuggle. You can't just like randomly, like be really unhelpful like you're doing right now. Actually, like very unhelpful, my dude. Your feetses are pointy. Black Cloud needs butts. I mean, love. Or butts is love. Butts. Who doesn't love a butts? I love that emote. 
Strathmore loves scaffolding so much she became the king of scaff. There once was a man named Drath, and truly he loved nothing more than scaff. He would praise and sing, much to his chagrin, because truly he loved actually Rack. Grim, you have to sit still. Cat butts. That's like actually an unreasonable number of cat butts, and I am here for it. More, more. Butts, butts, butts. Butts, butts, butts. Okay, well, Grim is now sitting. But small, the cat wiggles. You can't expect them to sit there still. That's not how they work. Ah, uh, but I'm working right now. Well, I'm streaming. Sort of feels like working. Um, which means kitties cannot be doing the wigglins. All the butts for butts clap. <laughs> yes, exactly. But donk a donk. What is that emote bug? That's hilarious. I don't know what that emote is, but I like it. I don't think I've ever chopped so much acacia tree in, in my life. IDK, you said you want butts, so I like it. A butt fortress? You mean a buttress. There, There's already a word for that, Ginger. It's a buttress. Well, she's only gone and found a fresh batch of squeaky cheese curds whilst exploring CERN. Interesting. Why do they have cheese curds at CERN? Not that it's bad. I'm just curious. Pug went and explored the corpse of a death claw for a few hours but found nothing. Unlucky friend. Sad. Sad for Pug. That is concerning. Scram. Grim, how did you just fall? Like, literally, I was sitting perfectly still. Absolutely nothing of what I was doing should have caused you to fall. Also, guys, Grim is currently wearing his bow tie and he looks so dapper. I mean, the cheese curds are good. I mean, I believe you. Grim. Thank goodness I'm no longer in that vault. Oh, was it a scary vault, Black Cloud? Was the vault bullying you? Silverfish, welcome back. those logs. There's so many logs. Elkhorn, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Not scary, just really cursed. So many people with the same name. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure what you mean. But 
Elkhorn, I learned a thing today, and I didn't know this, but that I learned that you have a Founders Badge over on Pix's channel, and I did not know that. I don't know how I did not know, because I've been there for quite some time myself, but like, not nearly as long as you, but like, I, my badge is like, approaching two years, but I did not know that. Learning things. He's still forlorn and ignored. Oh, poor Black Cloud. With an 11, God of Chaos, Sally looks up to the sky, performs the ritual required to call upon their patron. I, Bratwurst, the God of Smoke Cylindrical Meats, am not at home right now. Please leave a prayer after the bolts of lightning and I will get back to you, echoes throughout the battlefield. Well, that happened. That sounds like something straight out of a Terry Pratchett book. Like, that sounds like the, the, like, a really random paragraph in a Discworld novel. No one can convince me otherwise. Gives black clad extra disquishes. <laughs> Close. Discworld was my inspiration. Love it. I love Discworld. I'm trying to collect a physical copy of all the Discworld novels, but only by secondhand, like buying them secondhand. So like I'm slowly but surely amassing a, a pile of Discworld books that are all, all are from like Goodwill or like thrift stores or like secondhand bookstores. It's surprisingly difficult because I feel like not a lot of Americans know about Discworld, but such good books. This world was legendary. I agree. I miss Terry Pratchett. Everything about his books was honest, were like just honestly so good. Like every single one was a banger. Elkhorn, you stole my title. How could? Well, Sally, you're just gonna have to earn it back. Chat is going sober right now. Small cats, in Fallout 3, you can go into a vault where only Gary, clones, and creatures remain alive inside of it. Scourge? I don't like that. Uh, you know what? Quick question. Pretzel Rocks users. How do you turn off the feature where it says in the chat, like, what song is currently playing? Because the problem I've run into recently is that chat go tuber with all of the bot messages. And I don't want to turn off the Grey Knight, obviously, because everybody enjoys using him. So I want to turn off the Pretzel Rocks, like sending a message with like what song is playing just to help declutter a tiny bit. And I couldn't figure it out earlier today when I was trying to turn it off. My favorite place to explore, the Leadline Fridge. Safe. It's perfectly safe, Silverfish. What's the, what's the problem? See, Charles says, hypes. Listen, Silverfish, I don't know why you're so worried. It's fine. It's just a lead-lined refrigerator. It's totally safe. Kabalchi tries to use their rom-com problems, but it misses. That checks out. <laughs> Scrab. Stardust went and explored incontinentia buttocks for a few hours but found nothing. Not sure you can. Dutchie! Hello, welcome in, Scrum, Scrum, Scrum. You could say it's a really cool place. <laughs> King of Chaos, you are out of spell slots. How are you? I'm doing good. It's, it was, work, I, you saw my tweet. Work was weird today, but you know what? It, it's fine. I'll, I'll survive. How are you? How is your mom, by the way, Dutchie? Hope she's doing good. Yeah, I'm sorry. it's okay. It just is what it is. It's just gonna be weird for a little bit while I figure out what to do. I'm I'm really super torn on the whole situation. Um, like a lot of me wants to look for a new job somewhere else, but also pink sheep, pink sheep. Where's tadpole? Pink sheep, pink sheep, pink sheep, pink sheep. Um, but like at the same time, I really just like don't want to go through the hassle of it. Uh, 
Pink Chi, pipe. Because just like finding a new job is such a blah. Stop jumping around with it with an axe. Silverfish. I would I would totally do that, but you it's I didn't. But I didn't. Yeah, I keep wanting to find a new job, but also don't. Right? Such a mood. Like, the temptation to find a new job is very high. But, like, the actual logistics of it sucks. Because, like, ideally, I would find something remote so that I don't have to go into an office or buy a car. But, like... It was hard to find. I just have zero desire to like physically be in an office. It's just a waste of time. This music is weird. Remote jobs are so hard to find. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, I keep kind of, like, creeping around on LinkedIn, but I haven't found anything that I'm like, oh yeah, for sure that. It just sucks because, like, two years ago, you know, remote- every you could find a remote job by just, like, sniffing in the right direction, and now, like, everybody wants people back in the office for some reason. And it's like, I don't know, corporate America, if you've noticed, but, like, nobody wants to be in the office. So, like, what if we didn't? So, for stone releases, they're bees. Grim, I love you, but I'm very uncomfortable with the way your my legs are. Ooh, critical bees. Seven points of bee damage. That work treating you a little, yeah, small. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And it, it sucks because, like, it's not my boss's fault. Like, you know, he got offered a really good opportunity and I, you know, he should take it. But it just now means that I have to... Ah, grab. Now I have to figure something else out entirely. Which is just like... Un not my favorite, I guess, would be... Easiest way to describe it. Be grit. The bees do be critting. Grim, you keep sliding off my leg. How are you this bad at sitting on someone's lap? <laughs> Grim is like, listen, I'm just, I'm trying to sit here, but I keep falling. He's trying his best, but his best is badge. I never work at an office, but it looks like a boring job sitting in a bland environment typing things. Yeah, that's about right. Um, and it, it's, like, my job isn't always in the office. I'm, like, traveling half the time. So, like, that part's cool. But, like, it's hard to find something like that with that, like, half-half. And I would, like, rather do, like, half traveling, half remote work. And that's, like, impossible. But if I can't have that, I'd want, like, full-on remote work, I think. I just, like, don't want to deal with an office anymore. Like, I hate going into an office. There's, like... No benefit to it. At least for me. I understand that there's people who are like, oh, but you're the collaborative work environment. And I don't really care about that. Ah. What is it with the cheese curds today? I mean they're delicious. I don't know. What is with the cheese curds today? Grim. Grim, do I need to get like a little cat hammock, like for babies, like on the front of me that you can sit in? Grim is getting cozy and then falling off. Yeah, he really is. Like he keeps getting snuggly and then he slides off my, uh, leggings. It's very funny. Like, honestly, particularly funny. He gets sleepy, and then he forgets he has to do cat balancing, and then he falls, and then I have to catch him. Because he's a little goober. I also did mention that he's currently wearing a bow tie. Right? He looks so cute. I put catnips in loot freeze mold. I love it. Excited to find catnip. Hmm. Black leggings? Uh, they're like an army green. 
Doesn't really matter, but they're like an army green color. Chaos. Hmm. I've GK looted cheese curds twice now and then not very long. One from CERN, one from an ocean monument, apparently. Don't think you should keep cheese curds in an ocean monument, personally. Chaos. Fire Runic, Fire Runic is feeling zen. This is a nice day. Fire Runic, hello, welcome, and how are you doing? Nice to see that you're feeling zen. I hope you're great. Fair Small Grim is a feisty boy. He is. He truly is. He's a good boy. He's just a doofus. He's unfortunately not very smart, but he's in the- but we love him. He's adorable. King of Chaos Sally has only gone and found cuddles in Cor for Corbin whilst exploring Gingerson Manor. Lovely, Sally. Lovely. That sounds very nice. So first stone is feeling 94% chaos. That's quite a lot. Chaos kind of chaos and you, Silverfish Stone, are very chaotic. Silverfish, how is the chaos treating you today? Sea Turtle's only gone and found a strong beef sandwich whilst exploring again in CERN. Why are you in CERN so much? Why do they have so many snacks in there? It's not like a scientific laboratory. Why they got so many snacks? I just have a question. Elkhorn has only gone and found a rusty iron sword whilst exploring the Millennium Falcon. Fun. Scientists get hungry too. I mean, I guess. This seems like a lot of snacks. I love chopping acacia trees. Everyone, welcome to chopping acacia with small. While listening to Ska. Instead of Cursed Tuesday, it's Ska's Day. Lots of extra budget to spend on good ones, too. CERN, or European Council for Nuclear Research, in French. <laughs> Or in French, Conseil European pour la recherche nucléaire. I'm gonna say that I said that wrong. I don't speak French. Uh, thank you for the facts about CERN, Blacklight. Tuesday. It is a Tuesday, Marcus. Those are some cute emotes. So, first, thank you for one more. Nuclear snacks, yum. Yeah, just some tasty, tasty nuclear snacks. It'll go per- those snacks go perfectly in Silverfish Stone's lead-lined fridge. Places will go the extra mile to keep a top quality scientist, including but not limited to bribery with snack. Like the warden? That works. I don't know why you'd want to lick a warden, but, I mean, you can do you. Sea Turtle has only gone and found the Royal Sword of Blackclad whilst exploring Maxwell's Silver Hammer. Well, I'm sure Blackclad's been looking for that, so... That works out perfectly. Ginger Lily just licked snacks here. I'm trapped in this tree. Help, I'm trapped in a tree and I can't get up. I love that I'm just like a little bit too short to get some of these trees. The last I heard, Ragu of Psycraft was getting his PhD at CERN. That's wild. And I'm wildly not surprised though that a Psycrafter would be getting a PhD at CERN. 
Like, weirdly enough, not surprised. Grim, you have to lay down, my love. You have to. I know. I know. It's so hard being a cat who doesn't have a job or pay taxes or have to do anything but eat and take naps and play with toys. But, like, you have to power through it, my love. You have to. I know. I know. <laughs> it's so hard. Especially when your two furs are too big for your face. Guys, Grim's front teeth look like my fang if I had two fangs. <laughs> his teeth are too big for his face. <laughs> He's so cute though. Oh, big yawn. Thank you for big yawn and stinky breath. God of Chaos, Elkhorn fails to throw their mighty shield, hitting themselves in the leg and passing out. Please take a short rest. Lick the villagers crops. No. <laughs> Sally's feeling 97% chaos. What? I know, Sally, I know. You lost your space in the, the chaos court, Sally, because you kept doing the chaos command. Ew, cat breath. Yeah, stinky cat breath. Vamper. How did you lose your title? It's because you did exclamation point chaos and you, you re-rolled and it was lower than it was before. That's how. It's funny as most of them come from science or engineering background, then you have methods, which at least four years ago worked in a brewery. Hey, I mean, anybody can be smart. I mean, half of, like, what's going on on Sidecraft seems like it's, like, once you understand the method, it's just a big grind. Like, not to discount what they do, but, like, it, a huge part of that is just, like, the dedication to see through, like, some of the craziness, you know? Like, building the perimeter or whatever, you know, blowing up the 7,000 bazillion blocks of bedrock, like... Methods is smart, but also very sassy. I, don't, I haven't really watched any of his content. No bed for you. Here, go say how that... Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my gosh, Grim, lay down. I give up. This cat is truly lamenting. He's just such a sad boy right now because he wants to lay on my lap, but he can't. Life is so hard when you're a cat. Hmm, a drummer would be more useful. <laughs> Sally's found a freaking guitarist. Complete <laughs> the game on peaceful. Hopefully small, I will reach 100 take K toe beans. By the way, a next gold 200k in sort. Nice, Pug. Nice. That's a lot of beans. What are you going to do with that many beans? Can we yeet Grim? No yeeting. I don't mess. My only real experience of him was when he was with the streamer in call with the streamer YouTuber. Nice. Can we yeet Grim? No. He is a baby. Cannot yeet him. He's a good boy, even though he's being a bad boy. He's mostly just being like a little bit irritating. You're just gonna keep stacking until you get a million channel points, Pug? That's a lot. Well, I don't know what you're gonna do with all those points because I'm not really planning on like having like a big redeem like that. So, I guess you to just collect them. The duality of cats, truly. Truly. It's like he's good, but he's kind of being annoying. Swole Small is currently turned off. Yeah, 
Yeah, Swole Small is currently turned off because uh, I like Swole Small, but it was kind of irritating me every once in a while, like having the giant cat PNG when we were trying to do stuff, so I turned it off for a little bit. I'll turn it back on eventually. I kind of do that with redeems. I turn them on and off, like depending on my mood. Like I didn't want to deal with small, small, small today or the other day as well. So it's uh, off. I know, it's grim. Like I feel bad doing that, but at the same time, I kind of have an attitude of like, it's my stream and I do what I want to. You know what I mean? Sea Turtle is ready to go on another expedition. Very exciting. Sally got your title back. Very nice. Sally, what are you going to do with your title now that you have it? So I think like one of the steps for this redeem is we're going to get all these trees cut down and all the grass removed. And then what I want to do is kind of go back in with a bunch of dirt and fill back in all the like gaps and weird places and cover up rivers and stuff so that it looks more des more like it makes sense, more deserty. Uh, and then once we do that, I think we can focus on like overall terraforming and stuff. And like giving this some like rolling dunes and then we can build the actual oasis, oasis, oasis. Because Daddy Bones wants a desert oasis. Kabalchi has only gone and found a real life geologist, proper lush job whilst exploring legendary kaboomery. What does that mean? Ah! Speaking of legendary kabooms. The god of chaos is Elkhorn. The ruler is Pug. Sally is next in line to the throne. Nobody is the Duke. Jero is the Count of Chaos, and nobody is the Viscount. Fire Runic is feeling pretty zen. It's from Minecraft Minecraft Legends. Oh, I haven't gotten that yet. I haven't played any Legends since I live streamed it with Tad and Rubix and Misty, just because I literally played and then went on a work trip for a week. I haven't played anymore. Did we remove all these trees? It's fast. A real life geologist? My dream has finally come true. <laughs> yeah, we can remove like a couple more along the edges here that are like kind of just a little too close. Plus we're gonna like feather the edges of this, that way it makes a little more sense. Feather. F E A T H E R. Feather. Like, make it not so straight lines. We don't want it to be, like, too perfect and straight. Or it'll look weird. <coughs> Daddy Bones! It's them, Bones! Thank you for the 20 bitties and the scratchy meow. Daddy Bones, how are you doing? We found a place to put your biome. currently prepping it. Sally's ready to go on an adventure. Grey Knight said bad words. Yeah, he did. 
But that's fine. He's allowed. While she has only gotten found a spleener whilst exploring the James Webb Space Telescope, nobody tell Tadpole. Tad would probably be like, oh, I knew it. And I'd be like, Tad, what's a spleener? And he'd be like, I don't know. But I knew it. Woo woo, I'm doing well. Working in the shop making acorns for oak dew. Oh, that's so fun, Daddy Bones. I love it. Are you like turning them on like a like CN like a CNC kind of style machine? Like what are you using? Ginger's only gonna found Ginger's bunny slippers whilst exploring the corpse of a death claw. Well, wonder how those got in there. Tired now debating on things. I probably am. Oh, you should definitely do some mining and crafting. Mining and crafting is the way. You use a wood lathe? Nice. I only know, like, CNC from metal. <laughs> I just know that. Oh, I left a tree! Look, I I messed up. There's a log in this. There's a log. Oh, ouch, ouch, my bones. Floating tree. Crime, crime. I <laughs> missed your chat. Kobalchi, careful with that. What did Kobalchi find? A spleener, yeah. Are we surprised? Woodworking is super cool. It's a, uh, a very awesome skill to have. So Diabones, did Oak commission these or you just said you'd make her some? I'm curious. Sardis has only gone and found the last place in a round of marbles whilst exploring Donkey's jungle. Hmm. Missioning? Oh, that's super fun. That's so cool. I'm, ex I'm so excited to see what they turn out like. <laughs> Silverfish has picked up a spleener, an unsorted type weapon. Silverfish, you can't be abandoning your bees. That's actually a crime. Poor bees, they never expected this. A geode looks a lot less pretty when the inside is covered in a skull vein. I believe that. Sounds kind of creepy. The bees! Have deadline to get them to her by the 25th for the IRL Oak Grove meetup. Oh, gotcha! Cool, so I mean, so they should be done like relatively soon then. Oh, I'm excited. That's super cool. I bet it's gonna be awesome. One sec. What is this? Oh, the clip. Okay, I was like, what is this message in the Discord? And it's the clip of me finding the pink sheep. I thought it was the clip of me dying to the golem. Yeah, hoping to have them ready to ship at getting up next week. Nice. We need an encounter. Uh, <clears throat> what's the uh, what's the force encounter command? Is it force encounter? Like, I mean that's pretty basic, but I'm assuming that's what it is. I think I can do it, right? I don't really know the rules. I mean, small bug added that for tadpole in case he missed it and sort. Thanks, bug. Yes and yes. Get out of here, pumpkins. Daddy Bones, I hope you'll notice that I used orange wool to mark out the dimensions of your biome. Thought you'd appreciate that. Is it this? There you go. A lesser, a lesser lick. I did notice. Well done, Pag. Pagging, pagging. Oh, 
for now, only Small and myself can use it. Yeah, I can use it because I'm the Stremmer. Blackclad can use it because he's the Blackclad. Okay. Did I miss a log here? I think I missed a log over here. I did. Rhyme. It works. Sally tries to seduce the lesser lich and fails. Not good, not good. I don't know how to help you, Sally. Okay, I think this should be fine. That's the whole area. It's big. This is a heckin' chunky redeem. Like, it's big. And to think I almost made this redeem 20 by 20. Where's my chest? I had a chest full of items. Let's put all this away. We have to tear down the villagers' houses, too. Goodbye. Sucks to be villagers. Silverfish grips their spleener and slashes their foe, dealing three points of damage. Okay. Sally goes to throw their spleening something. Rolling a four. Why are there so many mobs in this hole? Why? Questions I have. Why? That would be a spleening screwdriver. I see. It's terrifying. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna have to get like a bazillion shulk boxes of dirt, I think. Deal with all of this stuff. All these poor villagers are probably so doomed. Silverstone tries to slash their spleener at their foe but misses, rolling a two and a modifier of six. Spleener. Yeah, I I don't know, Sally. I'm scared. Whatever it is, it sounds awful. Man, imagine you're these villagers just like minding your own business and then suddenly out of nowhere. This maniac shows up, like, tears your village, steals all your trees, tries to kill your iron golem, steals your stuff, tears down your houses, and just is generally a menace. Imagine. Where are they going to live now? Probably in a trading hall. Um, no, I'm sure, like, nature will find a way and they'll be totally fine. You know? Like, a very nature is healing sort of scenario. They'll be fine. I'm sure. Not, not worried at all. I don't think Small's going to make living quarters for them. I'm not. Um, I actually, I'll probably dig a hole and put them all in it. Uh, in case Daddy Bones wants them for some reason in his desert oasis. But, um, no, I'll probably actually, like, put them somewhere. Just for their, the time being. Oh, 
Aladdin's girl walks up to the lesser lich and tries to seduce. It fails, and it's now angry at the attempt. Oh. He didn't lich that. I'm sorry, I had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aladdin's girl, how you doing? I'm trying to get all spleeners are dangerous. They are. We know. What gave it away? Like, what clued you into that these are danger? I'm trying to find the beds. They gotta have more beds in this place, right? Like, there's a whole bunch of these guys. They don't have any beds. Like, where do they sleep? Did I steal, like, the only bed in this village? Yo! I got the two tall grass! Let's go! That's actually valuable. That's a rare item. One sec. Let's get out our, our valuables chest and we'll put our tall grass in it. That's like a rare item. Genuinely, not even joking. Not even joking. You have a bad cold on oh, Aladdin's girl. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. I hope you feel better soon. Rhymes. It was scary being a villager. <laughs> it's kind of scary being a villager. Everything wants to kill or enslave the players. Illagers are zombies. Also the piglins in Minecraft Legends. But since they're pacifists, they choose not to fight. Yeah. The villager is problematic. Retrieves the bees. <laughs> so the bees lasted about three seconds. And Silverfish went, yeah, I want my bees. <laughs> or sorry, the, uh, the other thing lasted about three seconds. And Silverfish said, yeah, I want my bees back. Watch out. Yeah. Ginger picks up Grimm's claws and then sword of type weapon. <laughs> he do has sharp boys. Alright, villagers. There, I put your beds in there. Deal with it. He does have sharp claws. Like, it, they're very pointy. And I don't really trim them. Which is my own fault, um, but I probably should. But at the same time, like, if something were to happen and he were to, like, accidentally get outside, I don't want him to be, like, entirely defenseless because there's, like, so many cats outside, so, like, I don't want to trim his claws. It's the same reason why I would never declaw him besides it being, like, kind of cruel. Ow, ow, ow. Could at least give them a skylight? No. He can't walk. Poor Sally. Sally's suffering. Guys, Sally's doing a heckin' suffer. And no, I'm not giving the villagers a skylight. They're fine. If they want a skylight, they can make one themselves. Yeah, go in the villager box. Mwahahaha! Naughty villagers go in the villager hole! No, go back! Seven percent. Leave. What do you want? Here, I'll move your jobs down there and hopefully you'll stay down there. Here. Do you wish to be employed? Would you like to be employed? Hello, villagers. Come here. Got gerbs for you. But they're down there in the secret... That secret place. Totally safe place. What's this guy doing? Where are you going? Do you have a job? You're a leather worker. Hmm. 
You could install a two block drop. I will. I am kind of having fun fiddling with villagers. And making fun of them, honestly. You killed it with Ginger's Bacon. Sardis has only gone and found Grian trapped in bedrock. Where, where is Pix when you need him whilst exploring an abandoned house in Novigrad? Bacon death. Listen... Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. <laughs> Why not? Might as well go out to some bacon. Honestly, it sounds like a great time. I softened it with a bacon blast. What is a bacon blast? Fiddling with stop. Ginger, no, it's not like that. No. Scrub. Scrub. Full bacon. Scram. Much better than now that you have your bees back. Listen, all has been righted with the return of the bees. I don't know what's gonna happen to this guy, but he's on his own. Hard to be a villager. Automata is all over Grey Knight's day. I don't know why. I'm just ignoring it. Automata will figure it out or it won't. I'm actually like not worried about it. The Automata is just frustrating. Lord Automod is trying. It it the Automod is giving Automod, but uh not very well. It is giving moderation. AI. I don't think AI technology is going to help us. Automod is already kind of an AI and it doesn't work. It's just a bot though. I mean, it's not like it has a lot to moderate, to be fair. Just the word butts occasionally, apparently. The Iron Golem was okay with his home and craters having to live in the basement as long as you don't hit one with an egg. Well, yeah. Can't hit people with eggs. That would be mean. That would be one step too far for that iron golem. Okay, the inventory is a problem. What about hitting it with a fish? I think that would result in similar issues. Personally. Something gives me the idea that if I start hitting golems for funsies, that bad things will happen to me. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling. You know. Just something tells me. It's like, where's this hole in the ground? Dang it. Flint and steel. Ground. Silverfish is so sad. 
Silverfish, he's gonna get eaten by a zombie anyways. Why prolong the inevitable? Okay. We need a bucket. We have a bucket. We need more bucket. The villager is not happy. The villager is fine. We don't need to talk about that. So much murder. He didn't die. It was uh, assault and battery at best. Yeah, but unlife is still life small. <laughs> Depends on your opinions on the matter. All the crimes? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Thankfully. I hate water mechanics. Just make big water. Why do you... Get rid of the plants. Opinions are just onions without pie. Thank you for that, Ginger. I don't know truly what we would have done without that <laughs> commentary. <laughs> wow. I feel like I've truly become enlightened. I think it's arson and murder. He didn't die. It's fine, I'm sure. Just don't ask about where he is. It's only murder if he dies. Guys, listen to these happy island theme tunes and don't worry about the villager. See, look, he's fine. Probably fine. Everyone seems really worked out about this villager for no reason. It's the villager's fault for walking into fire. He's fine. Yeah. Exactly. Inari gets it. At least he's alive. For now. I love this method for getting rid of seeds. Or grass. Works beautifully. Like, doesn't that work so well? Oh, chef's kiss. I just realized if I hoe this dirt, it'll turn back into normal dirt. Because there's no water. Yeah, like that. See, I had the savage idea to have a volcano like build and you just cart the nitwits into the lava pit. Evil, I love it. Very evil. Poor villagers. Of all the, like, really funny things, uh, my partner is, like, genuinely passionate about villager mistreatment. Like, he, like, talks about it, uh, as, like, just being, like, a systematic problem with Minecraft. Um, and it's very funny. Can you redeem an apartment for the villager? No. I'm sorry, Silverfish, but the villager is not destined for this world. Not if you hide water nearby. You know what? Here's the deal. I'll find his friendos, and I'll put a hole in the thing, and he can jump down there. And if he can live, that's on him. You know what? Fine. You know what? You know what? I'll you know what? I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'll be a good noodle. We will make this villager a bed. Come here.
Everybody happy? <laughs> Silver is just too excited about this. There. They live in a hole in the ground now. He's a happy little villager. Nothing bad ever happened to him. Good job. I shouldn't be congratulated for like the bare minimum behavior. Small cares. No, I just felt guilty making silverfish sad. <laughs> Back with a root beer float ice cream treat. That sounds delicious. You scrim, I scrim, we all scrim for ice scrim. Pug executes the villager. Oh no, I'm scared. Well, you know, sometimes it do be that way. If you're a villager. I'm hiccuping. In Bruno's chat, it's easier. Yeah. Bruno was- wasn't Bruno yeeting villag villagers into the ocean earlier today? Just saying. You quickly redeem put my name on a thing before he murders whatever the creature is. <laughs> I see, I see. Introverted gamer, thank you so much for the meow. How you doing? Do you like them though? If so, let um I don't really I don't really care for villagers to be fair. They're very irritating to deal with and they're really OP. So they're just kind of a frustrating element of the game, in that sense. I'm good, how about you? I am great. Spare the villagers. Poor villagers. Silverfish just has a lot of empathy for villagers, isn't it? Probably a good thing. Oh my gosh, this is taking us so long. We have cleared so little of this. I actually like them. They're one of your favorite mobs. Really? Okay, who likes villagers? Like, genuinely. Who likes them? In the chat. And Ari's doing a scrum in the cat button and suffering a crime? Yeah. Accurate. It is Tuesday. Hi, Daddy Bones. You like the villagers? Okay, hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for the five months. Really appreciate that. Gosh, we have so much grass to remove. Yuppers. Ugh. Villagers. I'm not saying I'm judging you. I'm just saying that I disagree. Ah! Why did that bring a creeper out? I actually like them. Not the super OP librarians, but Fletchers for fun arrows. And leather workers for fun leather armor. And farmers for sus stews. I mean, you can just craft sus stew, but yeah. Where the heck did that come from? A cave of some kind? Just showed up. Decided it wanted to scare the heck out of me.
for funsies, I guess. Explanation point sus, daddy bones. Keep an eye on daddy bones, they are slightly suspicious. Definitely very sus. It's the bones. Look at it go! I wish it would spread further. Creepers. Thank you for a gamer. Thank you for the 20 biddies. This was just punch. Get out of here, grass. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, there's so much of this left to do. We've done so little of it. Yeah, so we need to fill in all of that. All I'm gonna probably fill out to like here of this. I'm gonna fill all of that over, probably out to there. Probably fill in from like there across, fill that in. Basically make it like a big, like filled in space so that it can- ah! Where did he come from? It's daytime! Ah! Where did that guy come from? It's literally daytime! I like villagers. Transforming them can be a pain and I don't want them in my base. <laughs> but I don't mind working with them. Gotcha. Sus Ginger the Lily. Hmm. Yeah, that was a little spoopy. That was a little spoopy. Um, that could have gone better. I- We have a foe. Did they come in from in here? It must have come from in there. It's fine. Ginger sus, say it ain't so. It's true. Elkhorn, it's true. She's very sus. There's no hope of uh, unsusifying her. I just don't know what we're gonna do. Black Clouds cast in Shadowfall. No! <laughs> Anonymous, thank you for the 20 biddies and the creeper sound. Kitty! I don't have any fish! We gotta tame that cat. <gasps> Jelly kitty, but there's a calico kitty. Are there any fish out here? Why can't I get into swim mode? Kitties, kitties, kitties. Gotta catch some cats. Here, 
キリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキリキ It definitely had to be that little cave. Is that an, another untamed calico cat? Oasis cat? Do you want one? Yes! Kitties! We lost the jelly cat. Patience, small sand. Small sand. Patience is not my skill set. Kitties! <laughs> I thought that's what you're collecting them for? Nah, just because they're cute. Yeah. You sit there and you protect me from the creepers. What works is this? Uh, now would kitties creepers stay away? I hope so. Hi, Golem. Uh, I need to eat something. Actually, dying. I just want kitties. Of course, you have to tame the kitties when you see the kitties because you see the kitties, you gotta tame them. Alright, you come with me. Wait, actually, you stay there. We're gonna have to name this kitty cat. Do I have an anvil? Can you have a name tag? No. No. Anonymous, thank you for the 20 bitties on the use of zombie sound. But do I have an anvil? Cat, we're naming this cat. Alright, Pedro, ps, 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 Cal, you're coming with me. Or you're gonna sit on that bed, I guess. I don't know. The hot tea helps with my cold, but it goes away very fast. Oh, That sucks. I hate having a cold. Having a cold's the worst. You just sit there with like your like head all stuffed up. Not fun. Really not fun. Yeah, I hope you feel better soon, Aladdin's girl. That sucks. Honey and lemon is reported to the colds. Ooh, yeah, honey and lemon does help. I mean, vitamin C when you're sick, always great. Ginger and lemon is good for a lot of things. I mean, Ginger, if you get on a plane, you can come here. I'm sure there's lots of things you can help with. <laughs> Where did Pedro Pscow go? Cat. Is the cat sitting on the bed still? Oh my gosh, yeah. Cats. While well, she picks up a smultimate weapon. Come on. Cat finding stuff. Tea with ginger, lemon, and black tea. Nice. The smultimate weapon. I know. You know what I still have is the tier list that Kvalchi made that we need to do. I have so many things I need to do. You, Anari, are the Dutch X of Chaos with 209% of chaotic energy. Heck yeah. Like, play more Eldies? Yes. Black Cloud, I want to play more Elden Ring. Ah! 
Why is everything coming out of this hole? I sucked. Why are there so many mobs in here? Cover the hole, I will. For now we're gonna put some light in it and that hopefully that helps. Dead by Daylight. Uh, you know, I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight Black Flag recently, just not on stream. And the last couple games I've had have been like really awful. <laughs> They've kind of really sucked. I don't know if it's just like the new metas because they changed a lot of stuff up, but like, Pedro Pascal, you're in the way. Um, but like, I just had a couple really bad DVD matches. Kind of grumpy about it. I had a killer today in DVD. It was before I went live. If you don't play Dead by Daylight, then yeah. But yeah, I've just been lamenting on Twitter. <laughs> um, but I had a DVD match where, so all the survivors, we like started the match and like couldn't find the killer. like. We literally just sat there and did all five generators. I never heard the heartbeat. Like, I never heard anything. Just did gens. Whatever. Like, it was really bizarre. I, mean, I figured the killer was AFK and, like, didn't want to play on that map or whatever. So they were just, like, letting us win. And so we went to open the escape hatch. Like, the escape door. Because we completed all the gens. And the killer was behind the escape doors. So it was a nurse, and nurse has this ability to blink, which means it can like teleport. So apparently like this person blinked at the beginning of the match behind one of the escape hatches and just waited for us to open it so that they could, and they had no ed, which is called no one escapes death, which is like a perk that allows you to like one hit people so that they like then fall down. So they then just like hit us with no ed and like killed a bunch of us by doing this like kind of dumb hack basically. And then in the after the match, I was like, what's up with that? Like, did you cheat? Like, how did you get behind the door? Like, and they were like, oh, I saw it on TikTok that like, I can blink behind the door and I had no ed, which is how I like one hit downed you. And I was like, that's like pretty lame. Like, don't you, like everyone came into this match to play and you're doing like a silly TikTok hack to like, you know, get a, try to get a 4k. And they're like, oh, well I had fun. I was like, well, Good for you that you had fun. Like, the rest of us didn't. We just sat there, quietly did our gens, and then, like, got murdered. Like, yeah, you're gonna get murdered in DVD, but at least, like, make it a challenge. Like, make it interesting. Like, I don't know, play the match. Like, glad you got yours and had fun, but, like, we didn't. It's a group game. Like, I don't know. DVD's weird because it's a 4v1 game, and people feel like if they don't live or the killer for the killer, if they don't get kills, like they don't win. But like that's not really the point. The point is to like try your best to beat the other side. Like it's about fun, camping. That's what they're doing. Yeah, it's kind of it was kind of like camping, but it was different because usually when you camp in DVD, you put a survivor on a hook and you stand there so the other survivors can't take them off hook to like force the kill. But it wasn't really even camping so much as just like a weird trick like i don't know it doesn't feel to me like the nurse should be able to blink behind the door uh the like escape hatch before the escape hatch has been opened because that seems like unfair camping is frowned on yes camping is frowned upon because it's lame noisy neighbors oh i thought i just missed that stream good to know yeah since I've been gone from Twitch for quite a while. Well, I'm glad you're back, Kowalchi. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to like go on a rant, but like that game made me really mad. And then I had a couple of Bubba games that like, I don't know, I've never once played against a Bubba and had a good time. Whatever it is, like whoever plays Bubba's just like really are kind of sweaty gamers. And it just isn't very fun. Make it fun, yeah. Well, this is uh, improving.
But yeah, I definitely won't play more Elden Ring. I won't play more DVD. I just need to figure out, like, my timing because, like, I really do want to be playing on Friends and Nonsense at least twice a week streaming and, and just playing on here. Like, I, I feel like I've been, been neglecting Friends and Nonsense and I don't like it. And then I know I need to play on Vaulters, like, at least once a week, uh, which is basically the three days I have for streaming. Um, if I don't add extra streams and, like... As much as I would love to be able to stream, like, five days a week, like, I don't really think I have, like, the mental capacity to do it, just, like, the spoons. And, like, I want to be able to spend time with my friends and my partner. Like, we've been really busy, but it's just, like, not a thing that happens. I'll be less mad if I get kept from fixing generating generators by being killed than getting killed after fixing all of them. Yeah. Exactly, like... It's one thing if that, like, you fix all the gens and you do something silly and it gets you killed in endgame. Fine. But, like, when a killer does something that's, like, very unsportsmanlike to get that kill, then it just, like, feels really crappy. It's like, if you weren't able to, like, as the killer, secure kills before... Or, like, sorry, if you aren't able to secure kills without, like, being unsportsmanlike, then you need to practice and, like, get better at your killer's abilities and, like... You know, it's- I hate to say, like, get good, but, like, at the same time, like, get good. Like, am I a good killer? No. So, like, if I play it, and the killer- or all the survivors escape, like, that's on me. That's my bad. I didn't do very well. They did good. Like... But for all the bad games I had, uh, I had a great game earlier today as well, which is, uh... We were in this one map, and the killer downed a person, like, right away. Uh, she, like, walked right into him. And she disconnected when he picked her up to hook her. And I was like, that's lame. Like, don't disconnect right at the beginning of the match. Uh, and then, basically, the killer, like, rounded the corner and walked right into me. And it was a ghost face. And I was like, oh my god, I love ghosty. So I did some little head boops at him, and he was like, head boops. And I gave him my toolbox, and then we were best friends the rest of the match. And uh, at the end, I tried to get him to kill me because I was like, no, Ghosty needs to get a kill because he let the rest of us go. And he like wouldn't let me. He kept picking me up and putting me back at the door. And I like finally left. And I was like, I miss you. I'm sad. I, I wanted to stay. Like, I would have let you have the kill. But he was a nice, he was a nice Ghosty. But yeah, um, what I was saying before, like, I just, I need to figure out like how I'm going to include other things in. What game are you playing that has killers and hookers? Uh, it's Dead by Daylight. There's no hookers, but you do get hooked on a hook. It's a horror game, of I, I, I'm assuming you're making a joke, but like, it, it's an actual game. Um, Dutchy Cat plays it a lot. It's very fun. Uh, it's, it's a weird, like, lopsided horror survival game. Let me die, ghosty. Yeah, I literally kept, like, pointing. Like, you know how, like, the survivors basically have, like, a come here motion and a, like, a point at something motion? I kept pointing at the hook, and he was like, literally, no, I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> like, <laughs> you have to go home. It was very funny. Yeah, I'm making a joke, but I did miss the game name. Yeah, it's Dead by Daylight. It's very fun. Uh, it's definitely, like, a more adult game because there's, like, murder and stuff. But a lot of the killers are, like, most of the killers are from pop culture, so like, uh, Myers is in there, um, Pyramid Head, Ghostface, uh, the hillbilly from, like, whatever movie that was, Silent Hill, I guess. Um, somebody from the, whatever series that is with the creepy clown that laughs. Um, there's a lot of, like, well-known, there's a, oh, the Demogorgon from Stranger Things is in there, um. So it's pretty fun. And then there's some like other ones that are just like made up, but. Freddy, yeah, Freddy's in there. So like, if you like scary things, like it's kind of a fun game. I'm off to bed before I fall asleep on the keyboard. Good night, Ari, right, good night, Ginger. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have good sleeps. See you tomorrow. It's kind of funny to say see you tomorrow to people on Twitch, but at the same time, there's an extremely high chance that I will, in fact, see Ginger in the chat tomorrow. Like, there, if there is a much larger than 90% chance. <laughs> Very likely. You want Predator and Aliens in it? I would love if Predator was in it. That would be hella cool. 
Um, there's a lot of... Like, the, the thing with Dead by Daylight, though, is in terms of, like, licensing, it's hard, I think, for them to get already licensed killers and stuff into the game. So, you certainly hope so, Small? Me too. Um, so I think that's sort of, like, a thing they run into. Like, they had, um, some of the characters from Stranger Things and, like, the Demo Doggo, and that was, like, a limited time thing. Like, you can't still, if you're, if you don't own those players, you can't play them anymore. Because it was, like, a limited, uh, licensing. And even then, like, for example, uh... Michael Myers on in Dead by Daylight isn't referred to as Michael Myers. It's called The Shape. But, like, we all know who it is. But I think having, uh, like, Predator or Alien in it would be super cool. Um... Kind of, like, I'm not really a big scary movie slash horror person, but I do really like DVD. Uh, even though the game frustrates me sometimes. So I'm just, like, not sure who to, who I would suggest to add on. A lot of progress. Does anybody need like a bazillion seeds by chance? Because I've got like a bazillion seeds. Compost for bone meal? No, I have- we have, like, farms for bone meal. Trash. Bye-bye, trash. <laughs> like, bye-bye. No more. Well, this is, uh... Yeah, we cleared a lot of space. So this is the space all in these orange lines for Daddy Bones Redeem. Again, we're gonna fill in all the holes, we're gonna smooth it out, uh, and then we'll get started on like the actual kind of desert oasis. But I think it's gonna be super cool, I'm really excited. It is a lot of space though. Like this is a big task. Didn't remember that your biome redeem was that big. Yeah, it's 15 by 15 chunks. It's very large. <laughs> It's really big. Um, we're gonna have to do a lot of work, but it's that's okay. That's what it was meant to be. It's meant to be like a, a high point redeem. So, yeah. I originally designed it to be like I originally thought I was gonna make the biome bigger, and I ended up deciding that I wanted it to be a little bit smaller. More kitties. Why didn't you make more kitties? Yes! Okay. Well, I'm losing my voice, actually. So I think we're gonna end that here today. It's been about two hours. It's been about my usual time. Let's see who's live that we can send everybody over to. Oh, the little cat with me. <laughs> I love it when they do that. Oh my gosh, there's so many people live tonight. Um, good choice to go small, small. Good choice to go small, small. What? Black Cloud, I'm confused. Guys, we're gonna raid Great Lakes Girl. Uh, Legs is awesome. She is playing some Vault Hunters, which you guys know we play on Vaulters here, so good thing you went small, small. 
small, small. Uh, here is Leg's uh, link in the event that you get left behind by the raid. Thanks, Pug. Thanks, Daddy Bones. We're going to keep working on this until it's done. So basically the remain streams going forward on Friends of Nonsense are going to be this redeem until it's done. Uh, thanks, Inari. Thank you, Silverfish. Thanks, Blackclad. All right, guys, you know the drill. If you have a sub, go ahead and grab that hashtag small raid with the little emotes. Uh, if you don't have a sub, go ahead and grab the hashtag small raid without emotes or with whatever cute emotes you got. Any are fine. Uh, but thank you guys all so much. Thank you, Tadpole and Endless, for the raids. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you guys all for the bits and the subs. Your support is not necessary, but greatly appreciated. Um, I will be back on Thursday. We'll be here on Friends of Nonsense again, working on the Desert Oasis Redeem for Daddy Bones. Um, and then Friday we'll be on Vaulters. But thank you guys all so much. I've been Small Cats. Have a great night. <laughs>